the natural motion of an object is to return to its natural state based on its composition. Every object has a proper place in the universe. Galilei contradicts Aristotle's view. He believed that the motion of an object does not depend on its motion. He argued that an object can move freely in the absence of friction. Thus, when friction is present, a force is needed to keep an object moving. There should be an impetus or external force in order for an object to move and maintain a horizontal motion. Galileo's conception, an object moving in a straight line will continue to be in motion and external force is not needed to maintain it. free falling object that is released from a certain height at the same time the heaviest will reach the surface of the earth first Galileo argued that A and B together will fall at the same time as C. B cannot pull A down faster than C since B alone was moving as fast as C. A cannot push B down because A alone was moving down as fast as C. So this only shows that A and B together, although twice as heavy as C, will fall at the same time as C and reach the surface of the earth at the same time as C. The motion of an object is parallel to the ground until it is the object's time to fall back into the ground. An impetus will be kept by the object until such time that the initial force is forgotten and the object returns to its natural state to stop moving and fall to the ground. Galileo believed that the projectile is a combination of uniform motion in the horizontal direction and uniformly accelerated motion in the vertical direction. In the video, it shows that when the tape leaves the table, it experiences downward acceleration. It is always the same. If it is not impeded, it will continue to move even without an applied force. When a cannon is fired, the explosion will provide the impetus needed to send the cannonball into the air. As soon as the cannon loses impetus, the ball will fall abruptly into the ground.
Galileo showed that the vertical motion and horizontal motion are independent. The vertical motion slowly decreases, reaches zero at the peak, and then increases in the up opposite down downward direction. The horizontal motion actually stays constant or doesn't speed up or slow down. The arrow when flight is always in some one place, therefore always at rest, and therefore never in motion. Until the impetus is lost, the arrow will simply fall to the ground. Any projectile, arrow have vertical and horizontal motions. To explain why an arrow kept flying after bowstring was no longer pushing it, Galileo said the air rushed around behind the arrow and pushed it forward until it hits its target. 